welcome to Storytime Anytime. Thank you for coming back and joining me. I hope that you're watching all the wonderful stories that we have on our channel. And don't forget to press the subscribe button so you don't miss out when there's a new story available. Now today, I've got a great story about a little girl who has an impossible dream of wanting to hug a clown. So let's go see what happens. How to hug a cloud. Each afternoon, Lily looked at the sky, hoping and wishing a cloud would float by. She thought they looked fluffy, so cozy and snug. How would it feel to go give one a hug? She made a decision right then and right there to find out a way to get up in the air. She ran to her bedroom in search of supplies to map out her journey to take to the skies. She leaped out the door as her face lit with cheer and anxiously waited for clouds to appear. Here they come now, Lily started to say as five fluffy white clouds all drifted her way. She sprung into action and climbed up a tree but she slipped off a branch and scraped up her right knee. Next, she ran off to the top of a hill, but she leaned out too far and took quite a big spill. Clouds, Lily called out. I just want to squeeze. I'll do it so gently. Come closer now, please but two of the clouds simply floated away. She cried, please don't leave me, I want you to stay. Next, Lily blew up a giant balloon. She was ready to fly all the way to the moon. But one did not work. She did not leave the floor. Maybe next time she'll try two dozen more. She asked her friend Pip for a ride through the sky and soared toward the clouds on a bird flying high. But she couldn't catch one, they all moved too fast. She didn't succeed, but they did have a blast. With only one cloud left, one plan did remain. But when she got started, it started to rain. Lily was sad, for her chance was now gone. Watching the rain fall, she started to yawn. I guess it's impossible, she said as she shrugged. Maybe those fluffy clouds just can't be hugged. Then off to her bed, she went sad and defeated. It hurt her to leave her great goal uncompleted. The next day was winter and suddenly cold. She stared at the clouds with a dream to uphold. Then, all of the sudden, she jumped up with glee. It seemed that the sky had at last heard her plea. She ran to the front yard, a smile ear to ear. She couldn't believe that her chance was now here. A look of excitement and joy filled her eyes as beautiful snowflakes fell right from the skies. Never before had her town seen such snow. She loved how it drifted down, peaceful and slow. The snow was a gift from the clouds up above, and watching it fall, her big heart filled with love. She took a deep breath of cold winter air, thankful the clouds had all answered her prayer. 
She closed her brown eyes, feeling happy and proud, as she finally hugged the most perfect white cloud. So please don't forget, no dreams ever too large. If you want success, then you must go take charge. Sometimes you'll fall down and scrape up your right knee. What matters is that you get back up. You see, if you have a dream that you want to attain, then push through the sadness, the setbacks, the pain. You must not give up. You must try once more. Achieving your dream could take one try or four. So keep your mind open and try every day, as your dream may come true, an unusual way. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. I'm so glad she didn't give up on her dream of wanting to hug a cloud, even though she came across so many challenges. Stick around, watch some more stories, and if you want to purchase your very own copy of that book, head to the description at the bottom and there'll be a link there for you. Until next time, bye for now.